Right, boys, welcome. Uh, this is episode seven, I believe, of, uh, of um, Champs Corner. The topic this week is all about the Euros, basically, lads. It's about tournament football, World Cups and Euros, things that you remember growing up, um, and obviously looking forward to the Euros this June. So um, hopefully it's going to be a good summer. We're obviously coming out of uh, coming out of lockdown slowly. The plan is that June is going to be a little bit more free, so could be watching uh, watching the Euros with your, with your mates, um, in the sun, that's the plan, lads. So, how good would that be? Um, just touching on England first. I know we've got a diff few different perspectives. Obviously, we've got Peter bring the Italian flavour, and he'll give us a little opinion on that. Dens, what? Which side are you batting for today? Are you going to be English today, or who they playing? Huh? Who they playing? No, just in general. Are you going to be? Are you going to be telling us that you're English or Welsh or what? Where, where, where are you coming from today? Uh, Wales in the Euros. <laughs> oh me that's a sore, sore subject <laughs> if they if wales in the euros i'll go wales but if not obviously support england of that but you're but you're full you're full you've, you've played the welsh colors haven't you then so you're you're you should you're, you've got the welsh dragon if it if england were playing wales you're welsh yeah yeah definitely yeah 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 of course through and through yeah. well, okay so for yeah. today we'll, we'll talk a little bit about obviously um, building up the England England team, England for the Euros. So, first game I believe is sort of twelfth, thirteenth of June, and the plan is that we're fully out of lockdown by then. So, that's the date I think most of the country's got in our minds to be watching the Euros again and and life's a little bit back to normal. Um, so, lads, going into the Euros, who wants to start us off with a uh, Kana? I reckon you're chomping at the bit. Give us like what you would pick your England team for the Euros first game, uh, providing everyone's fit. Starting eleven, who would it be? It's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough one. I think I've got mine in my head, but it's tough. As a as a as a blue, I've got to stick with Little Arms, Jordan Pickford, T Rex. I've got, I've got to stick. <laughs> so he's been good, to be fair to him. Angelotti's dropped him. Pino's all about Angelotti. He's been buzzing off him, but um, you've got to stick with Little Arms in goal. You're going with him in goal. To be fair, goal is the, the that's our weakest position. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, Again, pick what, it's got to be Trent at right back. Uh, I think I don't think anyone else gets near him. I think it has to be. By, him. by the way, anyone disagrees along the way? P Dens, like chuck it in. If you yeah, I'll, I'll probably go. I'll, I'll go Walker. Ooh. I'm going Walker. Ooh. Walker over Trent. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Both of you in with Walker. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Walker's like it, it, still like most athletic, but. I'm, I was going Trent, so I'm with you, Kane. So we've got two for yeah. two for Walker, two for Trent. I'm still going with Trent. Uh, okay. Hold that. Go on, Kane. I take three centre arms. Oh, this is a tough one. I think. I think you've got to go Stones on the way he's playing at the minute. I think he's doing he's doing well. But it's that formation you're going. Oh, that's go four three three. I think. Four, yeah. Three. Yeah. Four two three one. Is that you, P? Four two. Yeah. You go four two three one. Can adjust to a four three three. It's fluid. It's fluid. It's fluid. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Joe um, Stones and it's like uh, I think I'm going Gomez. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Stones and Gomez. Yeah, and it, inside, a bit untested, but yeah. And then Shaw, I think he's been excellent this year, so he's sure. probably the first name on the team sheet at the minute. He's now he's now on at the minute, but it wasn't looking yeah. that way that long ago, was it? Nah, he's, no. he's, he's done gone. well. He's had a good spell to now turn that into looking like a real, yeah, starting starting player or should be come Euros if he keeps going. So, yeah, I agree yeah. with that. I'm I'm not too far off. I like that, Kane. Yeah, it's Pete what about them centre halves? Any would you go anything different there? I probably would have gone. Oh, no, he, uh, he hasn't played a lot of football, has he? I don't know. He's been injured, didn't he? Yes. Ben yeah. Ben said Ashley Williams, but I'm not having him. <laughs> <laughs> James Collins. <laughs> yeah. James Collins there, Steve, how are you? <laughs> I would have gone um, um, Stones and Maguire, probably. Because, yeah. you got them, mate. That's the only change I yeah. would have done. Uh, no, no, you mean. No, we'll take I'm saying I'm still going Maguire. Obviously, he's there to be shot out at the moment, isn't he? Because like, everyone gets on him if he makes a mistake or whatever. But for me, still, yeah, yeah. still Stones and Maguire for me. Fair play. Who else is there centre half? Because I was trying to think and I couldn't hey, really. You know what? You're not probably going to have a go at me, but I, I like Ben Godfrey. I think he's decent. 
Oh, Godfrey. I thought you were going to say uh, Michael Keane. I can't, I can't stand Michael Keane, mate. <laughs> he's done well this year. I thought you were going to say Jagiel. He has done well. Listen, he's done, he's done brilliant, but I just, I, I'm not having him. But yeah, he has, he has done, he has done well. Who, who would you say, Dennis? Jagielka? Hey, he's still well, got I thought Kane was going to say Jagielka. <laughs> <laughs> Up. So that, that's your back four. What's your, what, um, Kane, take us, through, take us through your three in midfield then if you're going 4 3 3. Uh, Hendo's got to sit. He's got to sit for me. I think he's the one there that he's going to let the other boys play, isn't he? He's just going to sit there like a Rico roll. He's just going to sit there. Right, just sit there. Not play. Um, then I've got Foden. I think he's been excellent. I think you've got to have him in a 10. But then. This one's a tough one. The next I've, gone, I've gone Madison. Madison and Foden. Ooh. Attacking. Very all attacking. The, all the best, Henderson. <laughs> yeah, leave him in there. Endo's good. <laughs> but yeah, then, mate, yeah the, the one, the one that, like, we'll see, obviously, from your front three as well, but there's a, there's a few that you've got to try and squeeze into the team in them positions. Yeah. So, yeah, I... I, I wouldn't go with two defensive. Like, I think that's what Southgate's a bit. He, he likes to have two sitters yeah. in there, doesn't he? But hundred percent. We'll see, yeah, Foden and uh, Foden and Madison. That's interesting, mate. Yeah, that is attacking. Bloody hell. Yeah. And then who's your three? Mm -hmm. Who's your three? Um, mm -hmm. three up top. I've Sterling on the right. There's only one man there in the middle. Harry Kane in the middle, and then. I've gone Grealish on the left. I think he's brilliant. Yeah. So he's like the he's like our oh, gazer, isn't he? So yeah, put him in. That's spot on for me, mate. That front three. Boys, P, Dens, disagree from any of that? Go on, Dens. She's just Madison, maybe, but I might have put Grealish in there instead. What, in the middle? Yeah, yeah, I'll put him in the middle, yeah. And then yeah. who would be at who would be um one of the wide boys then as a three? If you had your three up top. Is Sancho going? Sancho, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll stick him out on the right. I'll put <laughs> I'll stick him out on the right and I'll put Sterling out on the left, come in on his right. So San Sancho, Sterling, Kane, front three. Bad that yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. still decent. For me, that that one with Grealish is like I think you put like because I was thinking about putting him in one of the three, but my yeah. my three would be I think I'd go rice. Would you? I, I did think about him, but I had Rice. Did you? Rashford not getting in there? That's a big. That's it. Rashford. Rashford. Yeah, but not, mm. not for me at the minute because I think you got to you got to get you got to get um, Grealish in. You got yeah. you got to get him in somewhere. The way at the moment, the way he's going, and I would I would I think he wants to be wide, and he wants to be wide off that left, drifting in on his yeah. right foot, playing a bit free. I'd go yeah, Grealish, Kane, Sterling, front three. And then the middle three, I'd go Rice, just to try and do all the donkey work. But obviously, he's got quality as well. He's fucking yeah. got good legs, everything else. And then I, I had um, Foden and Mount. Mount, yeah, look, Mount's decent. Mount's good as well. Oh, as well. Yeah. The, only, the only reason I thought Mount is because he's got a little bit more like on the ball. You could probably trust him to get it deeper a little bit. He's got good legs, good energy. He's not like a complete, like you know, he's not like a luxury player. Like he can still get around the pitch, good, like you know, good on the ball. And then obviously yeah. Foden the breakthrough as well. So that's the that's my three: Rice, Rice, Foden, and uh, Foden's got to be in it, definitely. Yeah, Foden's unbelievable. It be is, unbelievable. It's something else, mate. It's something not, else. We're not far off there. That's not a bad team, to be fair. I think like, they're all quite similar, to be fair. Yeah, I had Hendo and Declan Rice like a bit deeper, and then Sancho, Foden, Sterling behind Kane. Sancho, Sterling. Okay, so no place for Grealish for you, Pete. If we play, take Sancho out, I think. Yeah. Foden are in. I, I, I think he, um, I think Southgate will go with that, the two. I think he'll go with the two. He likes that. Yeah. And extra protection and he's a bit, he's a bit more. You could go like all guns blazing with some of the players. Obviously, there's not, there's Henderson or Rice are the two that are a little bit more, um, will just discipline, do their job. But then there's five or six others that you could just chuck in and, and then attacking positions. Like obviously Madison, you've chucked in Kane. There's a few there. Good option. Yeah. Very good option. I think that team's not too far off it. Um, so P, P, talking of an Italian perspective, what are the what are the hopes? What are the dreams in terms of how how's things gearing up over there? What what are they what are their expectations? They thinking how's the team looking? The team's looking good. I think um, 
expectation wise not too sure there is a lot of reason to be optimistic but it's um like the england team is quite a young team yeah and but beforehand they've been with man since mancini's come in he hasn't lost a game i think in 22 23 so he's like proper turned it around because before that obviously they didn't qualify for the last one i think which is a world cup yeah they had a bit of a nightmare um but now there's more more players kind of playing for the bigger teams more regularly, stuff like that. And it's allowed, obviously, the national team to reap some rewards from it. Nice. So half a chance, you think? You're sticking, your, sticking them in there as, as like outside chance of yeah, maybe, maybe winning it or getting at least getting, obviously, to the last stage. They're always going to be there or thereabouts, aren't they? Always. You'd hope so. Um, but, yeah, there's some... It looks It's going to be a good Euros. There's some big teams, kind of everyone coming back. Holland are coming back. Obviously, Belgium have been strong. France, super strong. Spain and Germany are starting to yeah. have a produce a good crop of players. So it's going to, I think it's going to be a good one. Will be interesting. Will be interesting. What are your, what are your plans, boys? For obviously, we haven't been able to make many, but obviously, summer coming, assuming the country does open up a little bit, where do you envisage that first game, 12th of June? Where are you going to be watching? Uh, watching? Is it Scotland our first game? No, Croatia. Yeah. Scotland, Scotland's on my birthday. Oh, is it? When's that? 18th. Oh, could be big plans for the birthday, mate. <laughs> going to be carnage, that one. <laughs> You're just going to get a few mates to go and sit under the stairs where you are now yeah. and just <laughs> yeah. get a few in here. And get, get too many in there. Show, show everyone the lights, Kano. Okay? Go on, get the lights out. <laughs> <laughs> what do we want? A little fade? Get all the boys in there. Love, lovely. Yeah. There's, lovely. A, there's, ro there's room for at least one more chair in there. <laughs> I just have to pick your favourite mate. Exactly. Where's Den's gone? Den's gone. It's like Wales, mate. They're gone. Is Den's gone? Oh, he's had enough. There he is. Oh, he's he's back. And he's he moved. He's gone to the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> your mic, Den. Turn your mic off, Steve. Steve, turn your mic off. <laughs> Sorry, I kicked me out for some reason. Ah. Uh... Rubbish. No, we were just saying, mate, obviously plans for 12th of June once uh, once everything returns and obviously the Euros is back on and um, and everything's a little bit back to normal, hopefully by then. It's going to be an amazing summer. Um, or oh, it could be carnage, couldn't it? It, it could be carnage. It could <laughs> That's be. a great word. But what, um, what I was going to say, so Pete, what I want to ask you from an Italian perspective, because obviously every English fan, all they can imagine is watching England win a major tournament. So to picture England winning the Euros or World Cup, Obviously, I've got experience in that. And yeah, exactly. So, oh, mate, oh, all right, chill out. Oh, here he is. Come on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was about to, I was building you up, mate. Calm down. <laughs> um, but obviously, 2006 World Cup, mate, where were you? What were the celebrations like? I can't imagine watching England in a World Cup final and actually seeing us win. The scenes would be a joke. What happened, mate? Tell me. So, we were, I was at an, like, some sort of event. And that was during the day. And then someone organised a massive School? screen. Um, obviously, it was a sun Sunday. And there must have been about, at this place, 100 people, 100 Italians, let's say. Big screen outside, everything, food and all that stuff. And then, yeah, when, when they won, it was just like carnage there for a bit. And then near where I live, there's a kind of a big community of Italians and there's some reason after every game, like going through the quarterfinal semis, they'd all kind of group in the same place. So you just see everyone driving, bibbing and all that. And then obviously Trafalgar Square was was packed with a few thousand Italians. So being in England and celebrating it was unbelievable. But like you say, if the country that you're in actually wins it, it must some of the scenes I saw over in Italy were just ridiculous. Yeah. I can't imagine, mate. It must have been unbelievable. So the the, fi the final was, was the Zidane one, yeah? Zidane yeah. Matarazzi. That was the final. Unbelievable. Like, because obviously I remember watching it and you just, them those those moments are like etched in the memory. Yeah. But if you were an Italian fan, seeing Zidane get sent off, walk down the tunnel, you must have been, this is us, this is our year. It was, because the team was quite, they had some world-class players, but they weren't exactly playing free-flowing football. And obviously you get to the final, a lot of them look kind of like tired and just holding on. So we went one nil down and I thought, oh, this is kind of, is us done. Couldn't see us. And we bought it 1-1 and obviously Zidane got sent off. 
took it to penalties and on obviously penalties. It's probably the best way to win a World Cup, to be fair. Oh, mate. You still remember yeah. who scored the winning pen? Do you still remember? Yeah, you can never forget that. Um, Fabio Grosso. Grosso. Is he lefty? Yeah. He uh, scored the winner. It was just his. It was his World Cup, basically. He scored. Yeah. He got in the first knockout round. I think he got the penalty in the ninety fifth minute against Australia for them to we won one nil. Yeah. And then he scored in extra time against Germany. The yeah. The curler. The curler. Yeah, I remember. And yeah, then he scored the winning yeah. penalty. So it was just kind of like some, someone from upstairs just looked after him for that month. <laughs> if only. Fast forward a few months and, uh, yeah, hopefully we're celebrating. England are oh. celebrating in the middle of... Ka Look at Kano. You'd love what? it. Yeah. What a time. What a time to be alive. What was the last what? tournament when England went to the semi? Uh, the last tournament. Was it 20... 20... Yeah, 20... That was a glimpse. We got a glimpse of what it could be like in England. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, still, still, that is a massive... That was an opportunity miss, wasn't it? Trippier's free kick, you think... Oh, you, I think my life at that point. Semi-final, you're thinking, this is us. We're going to a World Cup final. Are we actually going to do something? And then, yeah, we choked, didn't we? The country was buzzing. Those, oh. Every game was ridiculous. Oh, I remember because you lot were obviously all in pre-season. I was just coming back from an injury. So I was thinking, oh, I get to go and watch these games. I'd have to be in tomorrow at this time. <laughs> Straight down the pub watching the game. And it was, oh, unreal. It was good. Yeah, and no, I can't wait. Can't wait to see it again. Boys, just before we um, we move on to our last thing towards the end, um, favourite memories? World Cup, obviously, I don't have to ask you, P. That, that has to be yours. 2006, winning the World Cup as an Italian. Yeah. Kano, how many how many do you remember, mate? You, you only remember one World Cup, and you're only about 13. I think my earliest that I remember of a, a big tournament was like 2002. I was in school. I remember watching it. Like, we used to have, about half nine in the morning. I don't know where it was, like Korea or somewhere, or Japan. When it, they used to wheel the big TV in at school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember that. I remember England, Brazil, and it was on at like 10 in the morning or something. And I watched that and obviously that uh, Ronaldinho free kick. Ah, oh, Seaman, yeah. Silly, isn't it? So, yeah, that's my... 2002 oh. is the earliest one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, that's bad, that. How old did you think, Kane? Say again? How old were you there? Um, Six. Not bad. Yeah, I remember that. I literally that little memory of that uh, of that goal, and it's like you said, the big TV. Honestly, we think we we're in like an assembly hall watching it then. Assembly hall. Yeah. <laughs> On the brown benches. <laughs> Got wrong. Dens, what about you, mate? First memories of like a big or a moment in that you can remember a tournament, a Euros or a World Cup that like, or, or one of the World Cups that grabbed you. You're gonna take your mic off, by the way, Steve. Take your mic off, Steve. <laughs> There you go. Probably, probably Euro '96. Ah, I don't remember it that well. I was probably involved with um, France '98 though. '98. Um, and then like I wanted Brazil. Well, obviously wanted Brazil to win in the end. They're my favourite team who were left in it. And I think, I think Germany beat them. Uh, no, France beat them three 0 in the final. France. Yeah. I think Ronaldo had um, he had like a fit or something before the game. Yeah. But and then he still played, and then. Like there was all that controversy because he was named on the team sheet, then he wasn't on it, and then it's mad. Yeah, but uh, there was something definitely wrong with him that day. Those moments are mad because I remember it like, yeah, I remember the word getting out like Ronaldo's not there or Ronaldo's not there because yeah. it's like his World Cup when he was like the star, and I remember that as well. Like he's not turned up or he's late or he, or something had happened or whatever, and there was all these whispers, and then he come out in the warm up or late. And it was like, oh, he's playing. And then, yeah, I remember yeah. that so well. France 98. He just like, he just didn't look right. And I think, I think Zidane scored. And Zidane, yeah, Brazil he, just got, yeah, Zidane they just got pepped. Pen. Is that when he dinked the pen? I'm not so sure. Was, 2006. Just... was that earlier? Oh. There was yeah, the one, no. one in the World Cup in the final when he dinked the pen on, on the side of the bar and it bounced Italy, down. That was Italy. Yeah. That was Italy. Oh, it was Italy. Yeah, yeah, 2006. And he just points. Like, he's not even right. losing his head. He just points. He's in, yes, yeah, over the line. Don't worry about it. It's over. <laughs> he runs off the halfway line. He just runs, just jogs off. Like, yeah, it was in. It was in. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Mate, those <laughs> memories. My, mine, definitely Euro 96. I was 10. So I was like in love with, in love with it. And like, that was, that, that was the one we nearly, obviously, the, it was like football's coming home. It was in the, it was all the, like, everyone singing the songs. Yeah. That swept through the nation. I still remember the um, 
the Gaza when we got when we got beat in the semi final was it Gaza's the ball the, across the goal ball across the goal yeah he went right oh. foot instead of his left foot yeah I still yeah. we played that it was Anderton I remember Anderton cut it across the box Gaza's toe got, this close from just getting the little toe on to oh, I mate. remember well my dad telling me because I was born when uh, England scored their third goal against Holland literally so he was rushing down the pub to see the see the other goals mate <laughs> big trip <laughs> Man like tell. <laughs> he always calls him tell. <laughs> oh, class. Right, boys. Listen, we're going to wrap it up there. Don't want to be speaking all day. So, um, like, ledge, boys. Can't wait. Can't wait for the Euro. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, it'll right. coincide with our season coming to a coming to an end. And hopefully, our season coming to a good end as well. We've got to look forward mm. to the uh, to the Euros in the summer. So, good times ahead. Hopefully, boys. Um, before yeah. we go. We always do a quick challenge, right? It's a quick thinking challenge. All it's going to be is I'm going to name a topic. You boys have to say, so if, for example, we've done things like sports brands. So Puma, Nike, blah, blah, blah. You've got to just say one thing from each topic. It will go round and round and round until someone pauses for longer than five seconds and you're out. Okay, then it will be a head to head between the two left. Cool. Okay? Yeah. So on my screen, P, you'll start. The yeah. top, I won't tell you the topic yet. You'll start, then Kane, then Dens. Cool. The topic is, it's nice and simple, sports. Any sport? No, right. tennis. Oh, you just, okay, go, he's off. Oh, he's gone to badminton. Football. Golf. Volleyball. Rugby. Polo. Cricket. Tobogganing. <laughs> Water polo. <laughs> Lacrosse. <laughs> Swimming. <laughs> Cricket. I've said that. Again. Oh, hey, hey, he's out. Oh. He's out. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, Kane, start us off. You and Den caught up with water polo. Go, <laughs> uh, judo, horse riding, athletics, cross country skiing. <laughs> he's done me. He's done me. You out. You out. I'm done. Oh, he's done. Cross country skiing. Tobogganing. Tobogganing <laughs> done me as well, but cross country skiing. Oh, I love him. I love how tobogganing was before tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Boys, brilliant. Dens, well you take the crown. Well done, Dens. Brilliant, oh, mate. Yes. Well done, Dens. Excellent work, mate. Boys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for see you uh, soon, guys. coming on. We'll see you yeah. soon. And um, yeah, we'll catch up soon, boys. Great chatting as always. See you later. Thank see you later. Later, boys. Yeah. Bye, bye. See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.